he woke up, covered in sweat. Another nightmare. The third one this week. He looked around his room, pulling air deep into his lungs as he took in the surroundings. He was safe, but shaken. As is tradition for young children in Japan after a nightmare, he then chanted for Baku, the Dream Eater. According to legend, the Baku were created from the spare pieces of elephants, oxen and tigers left over from when the gods had finished creating all other animals. Every time Naoki called for him, he never materialized, but the fact he had at least done so made him feel somewhat better. Still not enough to fall back to sleep. This time, however, was different. As he stared into the darkness of his ceiling above, he saw him. Baku had arrived. Baku bent forward from his high perch above and opened his mouth and nostrils unfathomably wide as he began to inhale the night air. And along with it, Naoki's nightmare. A week had passed and Naoki had been sleeping much better. He was more alert at school and could better enjoy the time with his friends after. Baku had served his purpose well, and by this time, should have moved on to assist another child with their night terrors. However, it appeared he was stuck. Something had gone wrong, and Baku was trapped with Naoki, and unfortunately, getting extremely hungry. Unbeknownst to Naoki, he was soon to be exposed to a series of horrible and unfortunate events. The first occurred the very next day at school when Naoki was asked by his teacher to go down into the school storeroom and retrieve a box of textbooks. He reluctantly agreed and made his way downstairs to the basement. He hated this place and found the box quickly so as to not spend any more time down there than necessary. As he neared the stairway, a large huntsman spider dropped from the ceiling and landed directly onto the box he was carrying. Terrified, Naoki dropped the box, and just as the spider leapt up at him, the lights went out. Naoki freaked out and ran upstairs screaming, his arms flailing in every direction as he tried to flick the spider off him. He returned to the classroom empty-handed, and was chastised by the teacher for wasting time and acting like an infant. The next event occurred a few days later when Naoki was crossing a busy street on his way to school. A black cat was in the path of an old man cycling past him, which caused him to veer directly into the oncoming traffic and under the wheels of a delivery truck. Naoki witnessed the entire event and instantly went into a state of catatonic shock. Hours later, he awoke in a hospital alone and afraid. He screamed out for someone to come and help him, which he heard echo down the cold, empty hallways. His attempt to get out of bed was thwarted by a nurse who eventually entered the room and did her best to assure him that everything was okay. Eventually falling back to sleep, Naoki suffered from incredible nightmares caused by the trauma of the day's events. He awoke with a start and chanted for Baku to come to his aid, which he did within seconds. Baku immediately devoured the nightmares so quickly in fact that it left Naoki reeling and he passed out from the intense feeling of dizziness and nausea. Having no idea how long he had been asleep, an odd sound akin to a baby's rattle woke him. It was coming from behind him and he didn't want to look. Still, knowing nothing good was going to come of this, he couldn't help himself and felt compelled to turn over. He closed his eyes and rolled his body over to face the doorway. His cold sweat made him shiver as he slowly opened his eyes and stared disbelieving at the young infant that stood in the doorway its empty black ocular cavities drawing Naoki's attention. That was, until it put out its hand to reveal its own two bloody eyeballs. Naoki shut his eyes and screamed loud and long enough for the night shift nurse to come running. 
she settled him down once more and then wasn't out of the room for a second before Baku was back over Naoki, feasting on his fresh fears. The series of frightening events continued until Naoki was no longer afraid and Baku was no longer satisfied. It was then that Baku began to feast away on Naoki's hopes and dreams. This left him an incomplete shell of his former self, where he went on to live an empty and insignificant life, uncaring, uninspired, emotionless.